Good morning, Facebook Live and Jocelyn fans. I'm Rebecca, the program director here at the Jocelyn Center, and this is episode 107 of the Jocelyn Variety Show. So today is Thursday, which means we are going to do our Take 20 with Veronica. So I hope you have your chair, your sneakers, and you're ready to do a little bit of moving because it is a great way to start your day. And don't forget, all of Veronica's Take 20 and other workout videos are all available for free to watch whenever you want on our YouTube channel. So if you go to youtube.com and search Jocelyn Center, you can check out all of those today. And don't forget, this afternoon at one o'clock, we have our mental health lecture with Borrego Health. We're going to be talking about depression because I know that that's something we are all facing on some level during this pandemic and it's all really valuable information. So that is on Zoom, but you can dial in as well if you wanna just use your phone and call in. It's just like being on a conference call. Um, give us a call if you need any help getting set up with that. We would love to, um, to provide you with all of that information. So if you are ready, let's go ahead and do our Take 20 with Veronica. All right, thank you, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. If you're seated or standing, wherever you are, just start moving. You can start with the march. Get your knees up, get your feet up off the floor. Just get your blood flowing. So if you've been sitting this morning or you've already been active this morning, uh, let's spend some time together now and uh, we're just gonna keep moving. We're gonna get as much movement in these 20 minutes as, as we can. Okay, I'm not using any equipment like weights or balls or anything, uh, but in some of these, if you have maybe a two pound pair of weights or one pound pair of weights, and you want to use, um, you can do that safely. Just make sure you engage your abdominal muscles so you're protecting your lower back if you're going to be holding hand weights. Okay. Now let's see if we can get our knees up a little bit higher. And just check yourself. You know, your shoulders relaxed and down. You feel like your, your chest is out so that your chest is open. Your posture's good. I know I was seated just now longer than I, I intended to be, and that happens when we're on our computer especially. So based on your own time this morning, how do, how do you feel like you need to pay attention to your body? I know I need to get my shoulders back, I'm sitting over on my computer. Do what you need to do for yourself. Okay. And stop marking for a moment and rotate your shoulders, speaking of shoulders. Rotate, nice big circles, and really take your time. Make those circles big. You're gonna feel that nice tingling uh, in your shoulders, your upper back. And that's your muscles just thanking you, <laughs> taking this time. Your joints are thanking you. Okay, so let's take one arm, and we're gonna bring it across your chest. We're gonna do the stretch that comes down the neck into the shoulders. So we're going to, uh, hold your hand, your arm back any way that works for you. You can use your hand. It's a gentle push. You can use your other arm to pull your arm in. Today I'm going to use this one. So push it in. And now just lean your head. Let your head tilt toward the opposite shoulder. We're stretching this side. So have your head lean in that side. You'll get your neck stretch at the same time. Just relax. Breathing, okay, and then head up, and now switch arms to the other side. So you're gonna feel a nice, gentle stretch, and let the weight of your head do the stretching up here in your neck. Just relax, keep breathing. Okay, good, okay. Let's get back to moving. All right, so we're gonna start with the march again. And I think for right now, I'm gonna move the chair to the side. We'll do some standing exercises where a chair or a countertop will be handy, but right now we're gonna take up a little bit of space. All right, let's step side to side. And if you're gonna stay seated, make sure you just, you're just you tapping uh, with your feet on the floor, side to side. Now, as we are moving, we're not moving too far, maybe, you know, obviously wider than our, than our hips. And if you feel like you're warmed up and you can take a wider stance, which will slow you down a little bit, go ahead and do it. Listen to your body. And 
and although you're breathing in and out continuously you are squeezing your abdominals so check in with them occasionally okay so let's do something a little bit different we're going to step side to side and then raise our knee and then step to this side and raise our knee i'll try not to fall over make sure you don't fall over so what we're doing is we're stepping and then we're going to stop and pull that knee up and reach and pull that knee up and reach and here just to sneak in a little balancing we're going to keep moving today okay let's go back stepping side to side so this will be kind of our go-to for a little bit Now let's move to the upper body again like we were doing. We're going to step to the side, turn your back leg and push. And actually, I'm sorry, we're gonna lean side to side and push and lean side to side. So we're not stepping, we're reaching. We gotta turn that back leg because we don't wanna twist our joints. So if you move and you don't twist, you're gonna twist that knee and that's against the rules. So. Twist that back foot in the direction that you're moving. And it's a pretty narrow plane we're staying on, so we're definitely practicing our balance as well. And push. Good. Okay, now if you've done calisthenics here, let's do some of those movements here. Keep a wide stance, and we're going to lift up overhead and just wave. Now you really need to Squeeze your abdominal muscles here to support your lower back because we're early into our movements. And if your lower back ever gets sore, most of ours does, you know, based on our routine or, you know, how we slept last night. So squeeze your abdominals as you're just waving, upper body just flowing, kind of going with the wind. There we go. Now let's swim out front. We're gonna push and make a big circle. You're gonna make a big wake in the water with your, with your arms, your hands pushing out. Reach forward and push out to the side. Breathing, pushing. And did you automatically do what I'm doing? I'm just like, bending my knees and bending down. Just happened. <laughs> so that's a good thing too. We're bending our knees. Squeeze in our abdominals and pushing out. Nice big movements. Okay. Wide stance, let's stay here. We're gonna bring one arm up and just hold it. So I'm leaning a little bit to the side. And I'm looking through my arm up there. So you're gonna reach up and over a little bit. And then change sides, you're gonna reach up and over. Stretching your area on the side here, your obliques. Good. Another stretch. You're gonna put your hands behind your back. If you're comfortable with this one, or you can use the chair right now. I'm not gonna use the chair, but use the chair if you feel like you want to. Excuse me. And you're gonna put your hands behind your back, squeeze your abdominals, and just let your body bend right at your hips. Keep yourself breathing because your head now is all the way down here. And if you can, raise your arms up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and just relax. I'm not pulling my arms down, I'm not pulling my head anywhere, just relax. Keep breathing. Very good, you're getting stretched all the way up the back of the legs. You're getting stretched in your lower back, Squeezing your back, and now squeeze those abdominal muscles, and as if someone's holding your hands and pulling you, just straighten up very slowly. And then we're gonna go back down, and stay up here for a moment. Okay, let's go back down, keep breathing. And now just let your arms come down. You're just hanging, letting your arms hang down. Okay, let's put your hands on your thighs and now curl up as they say, one vertebrae at a time, vertebrae at a time, up 
and good. So that, that is good. You don't usually hang upside down like that, but that feels good sometimes. You get all that blood flow into your head and just now let everything just go back to normal. Okay, let's use our chair now. We're gonna do some lower body exercises and then we'll sit down and do some squats because we have to do squats. <laughs> okay, so let's stand here. We're gonna put your weight on one leg, straight leg comes back. Don't touch the floor with that leg, squeeze. Just try to, just think, you're gonna squeeze all the muscles in your leg and now lift up. So we're gonna work on our glutes here. So you're pressing up and never let go of that squeeze. You got, you got the squeeze in there the whole time until we switch to the other leg. Squeeze. So you lift up and squeeze your glutes. Check your posture, nice and tall. Keep your, your chest upright. So make sure you don't lean over. Keep your body upright. Squeeze back, back. Good. Okay, let's stop. And now we're going to do some hamstring curls. So you're gonna kick up. So you can basically just leave your leg where it is. We're just gonna straighten it and then bend your knee. Straighten and bend, and when you straighten, try really hard not to let go of the squeeze. Exhale when you are exerting, or squeezing your muscle right here. Exhale, inhale. Good. Okay, just a couple more. And squeeze. Relax the leg, relax the muscles in that leg. Okay, now I'm just gonna turn it to the side. You don't need to spin around like I did. Let's start with the other leg. Okay, so shift your weight onto your standing leg and a little leg behind you. So you've got a straight leg and you're pulsing up. So I'm basically pulling my heel up behind me, squeezing the glutes. Squeeze. Again, you know, all the muscles in our glutes help to support our hip joints, the movement in our hips and you know our lower back so we use them to sit on but we really have to remember to to exercise them it's very very important very important for all of our muscles right to keep tone because they're all doing their jobs but let's not forget the ones we're sitting on because you don't see them so it's easy to forget about them push up keep your squeeze in the whole time Squeeze, squeeze. So that other leg's probably getting pretty fatigued. If it is, just take your weight off of it and then come right back. Okay, now hold your foot back there and we're gonna kick up, squeezing your hamstring muscles. Kick, straighten, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep the squeeze, even when your leg's straight, keep the squeeze. Good. It's a challenge to keep the squeeze in when your leg straightens, but we're gonna try to do that and keep the work at maximum for the short amount of time that we're together. Okay, a couple more. Okay, we're getting our muscles nice and fatigued. So I'll tell you what, before we sit down, and do some squats standing up. Let's just do some standing. And if you're feeling a little tired, just have your chair or your countertop near you, and we're gonna just sit, up, sit down and do some squats. So go as low as is comfortable for you, but make sure your form is correct. Form is first, okay? I'm gonna turn to the side. Uh, your feet are, they could be hip width, they could be a little bit wider. Choose what's comfortable for you. Just make sure you send the weight behind you so your knees are behind your toes. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down and hold it so you can feel the squeeze in your muscles. All these muscles are working and then exhale up. 
Inhale down, exhale up. So let's just continue with this. And I'm gonna turn face. If it's comfortable for you to hold the squat, and I'll, I'll keep going, but if you wanna hold the squat down and just challenge how long you can hold it, do that, that's good. We will do some of that. Right now, I'll just keep going. Inhale down, exhale up. There's so many great exercises that um, you can add weights to if you want to. You don't need to. You can get a great workout just learning proper form and repetition. <laughs> okay. Let's hold it down. If you want to keep going, you keep moving. Hold it down. Check your form. If your knees are feeling fine and you can feel the fatigue happening, especially in your thighs, then you're probably in good form. Okay. You were holding the, the uh, form, but we're definitely inhaling and exhaling continuously. Okay, get a good fatigue in your muscles and then on your exhale, come up. Relax your legs and now let's widen our stance a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna have just a wider sit down, a wider squat, excuse me. Sit into your squat and up. When you come up, remember, squeeze your glutes at the top of your, at the top of your form there. So you're going to be fatiguing all your muscles, exhaling up, and then squeeze your glutes. Point our toes a little bit more at an angle. Okay, now if you're comfortable, widen your step a little bit more. Your feet are going out at an angle. Okay? And if you're doing the squat that we started with, with your weight mostly in your heels, it's still the same. Your weight is generally in your heels, a little bit in the back of your arch. No weight is in your toes. Squeeze. Hope that if you worked out last week with us that you had a little bit of soreness the next day somewhere either in your quadriceps a lot of times it can show up in your hamstrings or maybe in your glutes okay let's go down and then let's hold that see if we can hold that so keep breathing while we're here why don't we take a we'll alternate just lifting your heel lifting your heel. So now we are doing a lot of things. We're balancing, we're shifting our weight, still breathing. Okay, up, up. Good. So keep going. Okay, now try to stay down. We're going to just shift a little bit in, go back to, the, to where we started in our squats, and then up. Let's do a few seated squats. Okay, so let's start seated. We're gonna stand right up, but what we're gonna do is just hover above the chair. Don't sit all the way down, okay? And we're gonna start up and down. Somehow, knowing that chair is right there, I think creates sort of a challenge to find that space between where you're relaxing into sitting all the way down into the chair and being able just to hold that in that area, that space. Maybe a little bit lower than you might go in your squat. You're gonna get that, that space there where you would release and sit in the chair, but we're not gonna sit in, sit in the chair if we can help it. down, exhale up, let's do a couple more, 
Good. One more. Okay, good. All right, let me move the chair out of the way here. All right, let's do some stretches. Uh, I feel like we need to move our upper body just a little bit. There's a lot going on as we're working our lower body. It's easy to kind of get tight in other areas. Okay, so let's do our twisting, uh, safe twisting, just spinning. So not spinning. Just going back and forth and just relax. You have a soft bend in your knees. If you feel comfortable closing your eyes, just go ahead and close your eyes. just about done so you should feel pretty well warmed up this would be a good time to maybe take another 10 minutes and do some stretching for example you can stretch your quadriceps stretch the back of your legs you can stretch up on your your waist again if you want to really pull up on either side open up your chest stretch your back Okay, just relax. This is a good time to do some stretching, so I hope that you do. And I hope you have a little soreness tomorrow in a good way. Okay, have a good day. Thank you so much, Veronica. That's always such a treat for your week. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you will join us at 1 o'clock today for our Borrego Health Lecture. And again, give us a call if you need help getting logged on. It's 760 340 3220. And my extension is 102. And we will see you guys tomorrow at 11 for another episode of the Jocelyn Variety Show. Have a great day.